It gives me pleasure to wish 1st Battalion, 6th Marines a happy 100th anniversary. This battalion has a rich history predating the 2nd Marine Division going all the way back to World War I. The battles of Bella Wood, to the Pacific Campaign in World War II, to Iraq, and most recently Afghanistan, 1-6 has fought every battle with honor, valor, and distinction. For the past 100 years, you have embraced the follow me spirit, and I know you will continue to do so for the next 100 years. Happy anniversary, Marines. Semper Fi, follow me. First Battalion, Six Marines was activated 100 years ago on 11 July 1917 at Marine Corps Base Quantico, Virginia. Three months after their activation, they deployed to France and were assigned to the Army's 4th Brigade, 2nd Division as part of the American Expeditionary Force. Forced to wear an Army uniform, the Marines had only their Eagle Globe and Anchor to distinguish their uniform from their Army brethren. Because of this, the Marines assigned a patch to more clearly distinguish them from their counterparts. A black shield with a five-pointed star and an Indian head with a full war bonnet was selected. The black was for mourning and respect for their casualties. The shield for defense and the star for the second division commander, Brigadier General John A. Lejeune and the Indian for General Lejeune's nickname, Old Indian. The battalion's moniker, 1-6 Hard, was immortalized at Bella Wood. Arriving with nearly 1,000 Marines, they sustained 90% casualties before the fighting ceased. Additionally, at Bella Wood, 1-6 played a part in the birth of the Marine Corps nickname, Devil Dogs. As the legend goes, the German soldiers, upon seeing the attacking Marines, began to yell that they were being attacked by dogs from hell. While their service at Bella Wood enshrined their place in history, 1st Battalion, 6th Marines saw continued offensive action during World War I at Isne, Isne Marne, Saint Michel, and Mousse Argogon, and defensive campaigns at Chateau Thierry, Marbache, and Le May. For their service, the 6th Marine Regiment was awarded the French Croix de Guerre three times. To this day, the Marines of the 6th Marine Regiment wear the French Forge of the Croix de Guerre. Between 1922 and 1942, 1-6 Hard was reactivated and deactivated as the need for their service arose. During this time, they served in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, Shanghai, China, and Reykjavik, Iceland. On March 1942, 1-6 Hard was assigned to the 2nd Marine Division and deployed to New Zealand at the start of World War II. They saw action throughout the island hopping campaign. 1-6 Hard saw action on Guadalcanal and to the Southern Solomons secured Green Beach on Betio Island and the Tarawa Atoll, participated in the amphibious assault on Saipan, engaged enemy positions on Tinian, and occupied Japan in 1945. By October 1947, 1-6 colors were again deactivated. However, on 17 October 1949, 1-6 was reactivated at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, under the 2nd Marine Division. From their reactivation in 1949 through 1989, 1-6 served as the battalion landing team in Okinawa, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean. They participated in the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, intervened in the Dominican Republic in 1965, and deployed to Panama in support of Operation Just Cause in 1989. In 1990, 1-6 deployed to Saudi Arabia and participated in Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm. Here they played a key role in the destruction of numerous enemy tanks, armored personnel carriers, and ground troops. In 1999, 1-6 participated in Operation Noble Anvil in Kosovo. In 2004, Battalion Landing Team 1-6 and the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit deployed to Aruzgan Province, Afghanistan, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. In 2005, 1-6 deployed to Fallujah, Iraq, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and in 2006 to 2007, they deployed to Al Ramadi, Iraq, where they participated in the Battle of Ramadi. In 2007, Battalion Landing Team 1-6 deployed with the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit. In 2008, 1-6 deployed to Helmand Province, Afghanistan, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. During this deployment, the battalion reinforced British and Afghan forces in the Helmand Province campaign. In 2010, 1-6 again deployed to Afghanistan and participated in Operation Mashtarak, also known as the Battle of Marja, where they worked closely with the Afghan Army. 1st Battalion, 6th Marines occupied a position to the southeast of Marja to screen, gather intelligence, and deceive the enemy of a likely avenue of approach. 
On February 13th, 2010, Company A and B from 1-6 inserted via CH-53 Echo Super Stallions into the heart of the Marja, while Company C conducted a ground breach clearing and holding a large section of the southeastern portion of the city. The Marines encountered heavy resistance from enemy fighters and a large number of booby traps. By nightfall of the same day, the majority of the insurgents had retreated from the city and the city center. 1-6 hard had the city under control. In 2011, 1-6 again deployed to Helmand Province and engaged in Operation Eastern Storm, where they participated in operations to clear the Sangin and Kajaki districts of Taliban insurgents. In 2014, Battalion Landing Team 1-6 Hard deployed with the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit. During this deployment, Company B, augmented with elements from Weapons Company, reinforced the American Embassy in Baghdad, Iraq. In 2016, Battalion Landing Team 1-6 Hard again deployed with the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit. They provided quick reaction capabilities for coalition forces engaged against ISIS in both U.S. Central Command and Africa Command. Today, just as for the last 100 years, 1-6 stands ready to answer our nation's call. The Marines and sailors of 1-6 Hard are the custodians of a proud and illustrious heritage and stand ready to write their own page in the history of 1-6.